Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and uh, some of you guys were asking which keyboard I use for my tablet in this case I have more than one tablet, this is an 8 inch tablet uh, this one I acquired it uh, pretty new, it's a 10.1 inch tablet and this one it's uh, also 10 inch with windows these two, these two 10 inch, they both have here at the bottom like the the connection for a external keyboard and this one as well has which uh, you have to buy a specific keyboard for each tablet so if i buy a specific keyboard for this tablet then i can't use it for this tablet and if i buy for this tablet then i can't use it for this tablet and then <laughs> my 8 inch uh, tablet doesn't have a connection for an external keyboard because this one was made specifically to be without keyboard, only touch. So the only way to connect a keyboard to this one is through Bluetooth. And I got here a, a keyboard, I was searching for different keyboards. Uh, I found a keyboard for this tablet. It had also Bluetooth, but the quality was so, so bad and I just returned it back. And I found this keyboard and this keyboard is made for the Surface uh, 3 and Surface 4. Here the, it doesn't have a connector, but here it has these magnets that are specific for the Surface 3 and Surface 4. It's also bigger than my two tablets, but it works for me because how it, it has Bluetooth, I can connect through all three of them. And it has backlight, which you don't really find backlight on uh, this kind of portable keyboards. Uh, this one here, the material feels a little like uh, the, like the keyboard from Surface. It gives that uh, feeling, uh, which is neither bad neither good because I don't really like it, this material, because it gets <laughs> so much dust on it, but it feels kind of nice in hand. And it has also a trackpad, which this trackpad feels a little cheap when you click. The touch, the touch feels good, but when you click feels a little cheap. And the backlight only works when you connect it to the through Bluetooth to a tab to a tablet, and then you can uh, change. You can change also colors by pressing here the light button, and then you press down and or up to switch uh, between colors. And overall, the keyboard has like all the necessary shortcuts: pause, mute, volume, and stuff like that. Print screen. Here it has only micro USB port to charge uh, the internal battery. It has an internal battery of uh, 500 milliampers. Overall it's pretty easy to pair. Let's try to pair. This tablet is already uh, out of battery. Let's try to pair on this one. Okay, let's go first on the tablet and turn on Bluetooth. Uh, my Bluetooth is already on. Let's go into settings. This is a tablet with Windows 10 but you can, uh, it can work with uh, Android or even with smartphones and in the keyboard into the keyboard just press the power button hold for a bit and it should power on an LED and there is a backlight but you can't really see it very good on daylight but you can see it barely uh, but during the night it lights up very well uh, for getting to the pairing mode we need to press FN and Bluetooth and here is an blue LED blinking so this means we are in pairing mode now on the tablet here it is one by one BS009 just press on it pair and it should uh, connect automatically let's see if it will get something yeah there is installing now also the backlight it goes off if you don't touch it for a few few minutes and once you touch it the backlight comes on let's press windows it open the start screen uh, let's try to change the backlight so by pressing this button and pressing down yeah now it's blue green purple and so on let's i like red also the the noise from the buttons it's not really that high so i really like the noise because it's not really too high but also there is some noise as you can see here And there is also a block button for the trackpad, so you press Fn and Alt, and now I can't move the mouse. And if I press again F on Fn and Alt, then I can move this, the mouse again, because sometimes you don't really need the, the trackpad. If, you, for example, if you're typing 
and when you type and you touch the, the trackpad then it's also like kind of bad so it's good that there is an option to block the mouse. Of course this is not the best solution for a tablet that uh, has um, specific keyboards for for example for each tablet. This is more like a, a universal keyboard for me. It's made for Surface tablets but it can work with any other tablets so this is what is important for me. The quality is also not really bad and also not the best quality ever but it's also not very expensive compared to other keyboards that I tried. This one doesn't really have a slot for a, for a keyboard but with bluetooth you can connect it of course it's pretty small compared to the keyboard because this keyboard it's like 11 inch or 12 inch but still it's usable so that's what's important but yeah thank you guys for watching and let me know uh, which keyboard do you use if you have any tablet of course thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one